Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Globe here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be getting two achievements in 12 minutes. The first achievement is called Fluidity and it requires you to water the plant in the bedroom. And the second achievement is called Gardener which requires you to watch them bloom. So strap yourselves in. This is going to be a little bit longer of an achievement video. And also I'm going to let you guys know right now that there are tons of spoilers in this video. So if you don't want any spoilers, this is your chance to click off right now. For those of you who are going to stick around, let's go ahead and get started with getting these two achievements. So the first achievement is very straightforward, very easy. All you have to do is as soon as the game starts and you enter the apartment, grab one of the two mugs, fill it with water, and go into the bedroom and water the plant. Okay, so to get the next achievement, you have to bloom three flowers that are in the pot located in the bedroom. Each flower is considered a particular loop. So the first is for doing a perfect day. To do that, you just grab both plates of dessert from the fridge and put them on the dining table. Then you need to grab at least one mug and fill it with water and put it on the dining table. You can grab both mugs and fill them both with water and put them on the table just to speed it up a little bit but it's not required. Then you need to talk to your wife and tell her you're ready for dessert. She'll go into the bedroom and she'll grab the presents and then you both will sit down and begin eating. Once she gives you the present, open it and say the most positive options you can in the dialogue. Eventually she's gonna ask you to dance, accept the request, wait for the cop, and just let everything play out the way it will. That is how you unlock the first flower. Once the next loop begins, don't worry about doing anything with the plant. Wait until you do all three required loops and then you can do all of it at the end to get the achievement. For the next flower, after you find the watch, take it to your wife and confront her about it. You will be given the option to prove that you're in a time loop. And because you have already did a perfect day and received a present, you can use the present as the proof. Once all the dialogue is done, restart the loop by going through the front door. On the next loop, you'll need to put her asleep using the sleeping pills. Also, you need to go into the bedroom and flick the light switch on and off twice. Once she goes to sleep, go ahead and go into the bathroom, grab the watch, and then go into the closet and grab the cell phone and hide in the closet and wait for the cop. Once you hear him, he's going to come in, he's going to search the apartment, he's going to go into the bedroom, and he's going to shock himself on the light switch. As fast as you can, you're going to want to go into the bedroom and interact with him, Take one of the two cuffs that's on him and cuff him with it. Leave everything else that he has on him on him. Once he wakes up, you're able to talk with him and you'll be given the option to say, I'm innocent. Follow the dialogue. He's going to tell you that he can help you out and do exactly as he says and let the scene play out the way it's going to. That will unlock you the second flower. So now it's time for the third flower. Definitely the most complicated one and where all the spoilers are found. For this flower, you're going to need to confess to the murder. This requires you to do the same steps as the second flower and confront your wife, prove that you're in a time loop, and grab the Polaroid from the fridge. Use it to exhaust all of her dialogue and make sure you grab and press A on the photo before you talk to her to learn all the information about it. After the end of the loop, do the same that you did in the second flower steps by electrocuting and cuffing the cop, only this time take all of his stuff. Shoot him in the leg so he cooperates and exhaust all of his dialogue. Then show him the Polaroid and you should get some new dialogue. Exhaust those as well. They're specifically going to be about the nanny, so once you hear anything about the nanny, you'll know you did it correctly. You're also going to want to do this as fast as possible so the loop doesn't end and you have to redo it so you can get the rest of the dialogues. If it's your first time, you're probably going to want to listen to what they're saying just so you can experience the story. If not, just skip through it as fast as you can so you don't uh, waste any time and have to take him hostage again to get the rest of the dialogue options. As soon as the new loop starts, prove to your wife again that you're going through a time loop and find the dialogue option that explains why the cop is connected to her father as well as the dialogue option that talks about the, pol oh, excuse me, the Polaroid proving her innocence. When she sits on the couch because she's upset, ask her again about her father's affair and how the mother found out and talk about the nanny and brother who killed your father. Now restart the loop and prove the time loop once again to your wife. She sits on the couch, go grab the phone and call Bumblebee and choose Father Wants to Arrest My Wife 
then my wife's innocent and get through the call. Go talk to your wife after that phone call and talk to her about the cop. Choose the option, wait for cop. Once the cop shows up, he, you're going to hear him on the phone with Bumblebee. Leave the door shut and just wait for him to finish the conversation and come ring the doorbell. Now just let the whole scene play out like it's going to. And you'll know you did everything correctly if at some point in the conversation, the cop says the word monster and they start talking about the brother. Now start another loop and prove the loop to your wife yet again. Then talk to her about her brother being a monster and tell her why the cop is doing what he's doing. After that conversation, call Bumblebee, Bumblebee and do the exact same thing. Wait for the cop, wait for the doorbell, and then let everything play out. This time, you should hear him talk about the nanny and her flowery name. Start yet another loop. Do the exact same thing. Prove to your wife that you're going through a loop. Once you get to the point where she sits on the couch, go into the bedroom, grab the present, open it, and you're going to see the name on the baby clothing. Then call Bumblebee and use the same options, my wife is innocent, and wait for the cop with the doorbell. Once the conversation gets started and the cop mentions the nanny again with the flowery name, pull out the baby clothes and give them to the cop. Let the scene play out. Once the new loop starts, now you can confess to the murder, so as soon as you go in the loop begins, talk to her about the past and tell her what really happened. Tell her you killed the father and it's your fault, and you will confess. Once she sits on the couch, go grab the watch and call Bumblebee and do the same thing you did previously and wait for the cop and the doorbell. Once he gets there, you're going to be given some dialogue options that are going to allow you to confess to the murder, follow those, and eventually he's going to ask you for the watch. Give him the watch, he's going to leave, your wife is then going to tell you to leave and just leave. And that's it. Now you have the third flower. So now all you have to do is once the new loop starts, grab both of the mugs, fill them with water, Go to the bedroom and water the plant. Then head out the front door. New loop's going to start. Do the exact same thing and just rinse and repeat until all three flowers are grown and the achievement unlocks. So that's going to do it, guys. Very long one. Very uh, confusing one. So hopefully this video helped you get both of those achievements. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you guys for future 12-minute uh, achievement videos as well as some future just random videos as well. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.